Jesse, in the past seven battles, you have been faced with fierce competitors, and you've knocked them all out of this competition. And if you win today, you will match the most amount of money ever earned in Forge and Fire history, $50,000. Your competitor has two Gladiator the Forge titles of his own. Oh. Jesse, in order to win today, you're going to have to beat this guy. Kurt. My name is Kurt. I'm a two-time Gladiator of the Forge. Now I get another chance at beating Jesse, and then he can feel what it's like to have a loss under his belt. This battle will consist of eight hours of forging competition, where you will build one of these three blades from our wall of Gladiator weapons. Today, you're going to need to build this. I hope it's not a Dolabra. The Dolabra. The Delabra was a versatile weapon used by the Roman Empire Army in the first century and beyond. Featuring a massive axe head on one side and a sharp pick on the other, the versatile battle axe doubled as a tool for soldiers who would need to fell trees and clear brush. In the Colosseum, the Delabra's ability to deliver deadly chops and lethal blows against an enemy made it a favorite weapon of the gladiators. Bladesmiths, this is it. This is the last battle in our Colosseum-themed competition, the Gladiator of the Forge. So good luck. Your time starts now. My game plan is to forge out this canister, cut the canister bit in half for the outer jacket, and then forge out a 20-layer random pattern billet and have that as a sandwich. I'm setting up my sanmai so that there's already a gap. After I get this entire thing welded, I'm prepared to begin drawing out my blade. After I get the axe head shaped out, it's time to go into the pick. This is not your traditional pickaxe. It's a recurve pickaxe. So I do that with my good old trusty hand hammer and the anvil horn. Jesse's blade is like a badass. Now with the blade pretty much forged to shape, it's time for the quench. There right. we go. All right, Jesse has his axe head quenched. He still has to get that pick done. Boom. Jesse has a fully quenched blade. It's great. It's a little bit heavy, so I can definitely spend a lot of time on the grinder and make sure it's as light as it needs to be. One of the parameters is a leather wrap. So it's time to give it some flair. I want it to look like a bloody mess. What is Jesse doing? He's trying to make it look like it's bloodied up. How long does that stuff take to dry? Long enough that I'm going to have red hands. <laughs> this thing looks so menacing. Even my hands look bloody. Last thing I want to do is put an edge on this thing. This time I go with 16 layers, because that's four less chances of a forge weld not taking. If I cut it up four times, I'll still have 64 layers total with that 1095 core for the same line. Well, all the forge welds took. So once I get the length that I need, I can cut it up into four pieces, stack it, and draw it out to get the 64 layers. Good. Now that I'm confident that the welds are good, I can draw it out and then forge weld the sand mai. I see that some of the welds around the eye are splitting about a quarter of an inch. I drifted the eye walls too thin, and there's a crack going right down it. I just want to do an edge quench on the axe head, because if there is too much stress on that cracked weld around the eye, it could blow the entire weld apart. I'm hoping that this heat treat goes well. All right, guys, we got two bladesmiths with two fully quenched weapons. These guys are seriously neck and neck. Yeah. The last time that I lost against Jesse, it was because of the handle. So I'm going a little extra on this one. Gert's been spending a lot of time without a handle. Last challenge, make it beautiful. I finally have everything put together, and I am extremely happy now. Hopefully, my weapon's good enough to beat Jesse. Five, four, three, one. Vice Fist, put down your tools. This round is over. Good job. Gladiators of the Forge, your Delabras look evenly matched, but it's time to find out what kind of lethal damage they will do. This is the kill test. Kurt, you're up first. You ready for this? I'm ready. All right, let's do this.
All right, Kurt, let's talk about your Delabra here. First up, it is razor sharp. That time is gonna have a headache for a long time. Now, you see this on that ballistic dummy? It is amazing. Every thrust with your pick here penetrated this because of the balance you have here allows for a nice thrust and delivery on that. But during the test, you lost a section right here. One of the layers from your blade right here didn't weld all the way through. But looking at this, your core is still solid. So it's still gonna be a functional and testable blade. And overall, sir, you're the labra. You will kill. Thank you, Doug. Jesse, you ready? All right, let's do this. All right, Jesse, let's talk about your Labra here. First up, you have a heavier blade here, but it serves it very well when you're doing damage like that. The feel of the weapon really allows it to go deep into this ballistic dummy. Overall, sir, your Delabra, you will kill. Thank you. All right, gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's time for our strength test, the Roman armor and shield chop. And Kurt, you are up first. Oh, destroy it. <laughs> I can't wait to. So Kurt, this is a good looking weapon. The leather wrap you did and the texturing up on the handle actually make it quite comfortable to swing. The issue I have is this delamination. It's come further open and didn't affect using it at all. But I do worry that, that that's going to continue to be a problem. All right, Jesse, you're up. You ready? Sure. <laughs> All right, Jesse, right off the bat, great look. It's a good shape. The pattern came out really nice. And where it really stands out is right there on the socket, which is kind of cool. You still got an edge. Everything's right and tight, everything's solid. All in all, it held up beautifully. Great job. Thank you. You had fun, didn't you? Well, Jesse, Kurt, I couldn't have asked for a better final matchup. But at the end of the day, only one of you can take home that final title and the last check for $5,000. The Gladiator of the Forge is... Jesse, you are unstoppable. Now, Kurt, you should be proud of your work, but unfortunately, Delaber did not make the cut. I'm gonna have to ask you to please step off the Forge floor. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Kurt. Jesse, congrats, man. You deserve it. Thank you. So Jesse took another title, and I don't disagree at all. He, once again, turned in an awesome weapon. Kurt, you did a good job, man. Thank you. Chin high. Well, Jesse, I've got one word to describe you, and that is impressive. You just won your eighth Gladiator Forge title, and you have $50,000 to take home with you. Congratulations. Thank you. This experience was definitely once in a lifetime. I just won 50 grand. I'm planning on putting so much of it into bladesmithing. I already made a spreadsheet of all the tools I'm going to buy finally live the dream as opposed to just dreaming the dream. 